Hello, this is Carla again. I wanted to stop in really quickly and do a short video on our library practices. I did a video last year sometime on um, how we uh, are just passionate about the library. I mean, we get about 100 plus books a month from the library and um, it's just such a, a very wide range of topics and information um, to expose them to. Um, generally, when we go to the library, they are able to choose um, some of their own things. A lot of times I go by myself, but I, t I go with a list of things that they've said they're interested in or want to pursue. So most of it is uh, interest or passion led uh, based on things that they want. A lot also is uh, things that uh, dad and I want to expose them to that we think they'd be interested in. So we use it as a strewing opportunity as well. Um, but one thing that I wanted to share in this video is that uh, how we keep track of that. Um, obviously, we know what books that we check out at the library and we get a lot of them. We also have a very wide range um, of reading material here in our home that we collect on a regular basis. So we're very, very avid book collectors of good uh, literature. So. And learning, you know, resources. Everything's not necessarily a story or biography, um, but we collect a lot of books, and uh, it's just part of how we how we set up our home as a learning environment. There's always something to explore. But what we do on a monthly basis, all of our children that are usually around age nine and above, mostly mainly the the older two, which are 12 and 13, but the younger ones do as well because they see the older ones doing this. So we have a um, sheet of paper for each child for each month. And basically what they do is they uh, write down the name and um, the topic of every book that they read for that month. So it could be a book from our stash here at home, our library, or it could be a book that we have obtained from the library. But they make a list of that every single month. And then I record that in Evernote. You can watch our Evernote videos to learn more about that. But I record that under their name in Evernote, and then I tag it um, by all of the topics and subjects that those books covered. And so that kind of helps me see what it is, see a pattern of what it is that they're studying, what they're passionate about, and things of that nature. I can get more of those things. If I see that they are passionate about something, but we're not getting enough reading material in that area, then that I can change my strategy with that when it comes to storing more material in the areas they're interested in. So just wanted to share that. We just make a, a, a monthly list. It's not a fancy list. I don't print anything out. It's just a lined piece of paper with everybody's name at the top in the month. And they simply list all the books that they read. We tag those under the topics and subjects that it covers, and it helps us understand what it is that they're reading, what it is that they're learning. And it's really exciting to be able to go through that and then engage them in conversation on the things that were their favorites and give us the ability to know what else to strew, what else to put in their path for learning success. So hope this was helpful. We love the library and I'm sure as homeschoolers, unschoolers, world schoolers, all kinds of schoolers that you do as well. Hope that was helpful. Thank you.